Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, part two. We are still playing Final Fantasy X-2, our new game plus. I know, I took the cat gloves off because I think we're, we're about to eat chicken wings. It's football su Sunday snacks and I'm, we're having chicken wings. I'm pretty sure Levi's about to bring me some. So anyways, but anyways, sorry, excuse me, sorry if y'all hear kitchen noises. It's them making chicken wings and also salsa because we're having nachos later. I'm so excited. I love nachos so much. So, so, so much. Okay, here we go. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> so we're in Besaid. We're in Besaid and uh, it's time to go get the ciphers. We're almost done with chapter one, y'all. We finish it very fast. Pew, pew, pew. I'm so sorry. I think the microphone's picking that up. I'm gonna turn the gain down. I'm gonna turn. The, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. <gasps> oh, here's our first cipher. It's all for the salsa. Okay, that's a one. <coughs> Excuse me. We got some guac. We got some sour cream. We got some deliciousness. Okay, eight. Get down there. Oh. Any trouble? <laughs> no trouble. How about you guys? My heart is shaking. It'll be okay. Huh? <laughs> It'll be okay. We know that you don't actually want to date Yuna. You just want to stare at her booty. And so does the Barky Pipello. He supports this. We already know. Bring it, punk. Yeah, bring it, punk. Boom. Get him. We gotta go beat up. We gotta go beat up the guys in the in the cave again. <coughs> Excuse me. There's also little smokies and meatballs, and I ate a couple of those while I was on my break because those were done. So my nose is a little bit, a little bit sniffly. Get him! Alright, the other two are on the beach. This way. Get up there. Oh, wait. Is it right here? It's right here. Yeah, two. And you don't have to write these down or anything. If y'all remember that from last time. It'll just pop them in for you. weird oh brother it's nothing yeah buddy's right it's nothing you know who would be cool together buddy and pain would be cool together because she's so like closed off and buddy's so like chill and nonchalant and whatever he could tolerate her nonsense All right, got all the ciphers. Let's go into the cave. Anyway, I ship it. I, the thought just occurred to me. It just occurred to me just now. Um, but I'm already like super into it. Has anyone has anyone ever thought of this before? Is this a, is this an original Karen idea? I doubt it. It can't be. Ten is so popular. There has to have been somebody that's that's done Buddy and uh, Pain before. Come on, get up there. There we go. <coughs> All right, so one, four, two, eight. Let me in. 
Thank you. Hey, Waka. Something wrong? We came to check on you. Is there something in this cave? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Who knows, maybe it's not here, yeah? But I thought, what if? Maybe it's for real. Then again, maybe it never was. Maybe it never was. It's so long, I'm not sure anymore. We'll find out. So, you're saying there's something that might be here and you want to know for sure, right? Right. But, you see, I want to know and then I sort of don't want to know. Well, I can understand that. Oh, man. Make up your mind. What is this thing anyway? Well, uh, see, I heard there was this old sphere. A sphere? Of what? A sphere of, you know. Uh, what does it matter? Hey, whoa! We're sphere hunters, remember? Yeah. <gasps> We're gonna hunt some spheres. It's as good as ours! All right, go wings! <clears throat> Time for business! Uh, the and Waka's just uh, gonna sit there. Waka, you can't come help us with your attack reels. Hello. Leave it to me. He cannot, apparently. Apparently we have to kill these things. We fine. Yes, sir. Just ignore him. <laughs> we've been trying to. Riku, we've been trying to. This whole time we've been in Besaid. Brother's like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Dang it. I just wanted to refresh. There we go. Sphere! <gasps> Monster. Find the sphere and the fiends appear. True, pain, true. Alright, let's beat him up. Pretty sure I can just whack him. <laughs> I'm like so extra strong enough, like it should be fine, I think. <clears throat> yeah. No problemo. One good. more for the go wings! <laughs> Thank you! Wings is coming, y'all. Okay. So now we gotta go back and talk to Waka again. Give me a break. <gasps> Wings, thank you. Okay. Okay, Taco Ranch, got it. Look at these guys. Look how delicious they look. <laughs> they look so delicious. <laughs> I love chicken wings. Find anything? We sure did. Let's take a look. Nope. Nah, afraid not. Chicken wings so good, by the way. So, what sphere were you?
you looking for? <sighs> well, it's a spear of our parents. Chapu said he found it. Chapu? Oh, your brother. He was a crusader. Now he's gone on to the far plane. Sin got our parents not long after Chapu was born. We were both too young to remember their faces, you know? When we were kids, we got into a fight one time, and Chapu said, I found a sphere with mom and dad in it, but I'm not telling you where it is. My little brothers are such little shits. I was too boneheaded to let my little brother win. So I went on without asking until I just forgot about it. Then yesterday, talking with you made me think about it again. Yeah, they're delicious. Chapu used to play in this cave, so I thought maybe he found the sphere here, yeah? But when I came to look, I got to thinking. About what? See, I got this picture of my parents in my head, yeah? And strong and kind. Whenever things got tough, those are the parents I imagined. But their real faces might be totally different, yeah? I think about that, and I'm not so sure I really want to know. It's very I was sure sitting you there that. trying to figure out what to do, and then you guys showed up. Oh, <laughs> that's our waka. The sphere might still be somewhere on the island. Should we look for it? Nah, that's all right. I'm too worried about that stuff. What's past is past, yeah? Can't let it get to me. I'm going to be a father soon. Got to pull it together. That's right, Dad. Huh. But, uh... Just how am I supposed to pull it together? You'll figure it out. Sure wish I had something to go by, you know? <sighs> you read me? You guys about finished down there? Brother's starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Yeah! I think Waka will be fine because him and Lulu basically parented Yuna together, so you know. Sorry, I don't want to touch the controller again with like with um chicken wing sauce hands. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so we have done Besaid, we have Xanarkin left. Um, just to double check our PR points, let's pop over to the Calmlands real quick. Because once we go to Xanarkin, we're at point of no return and we cannot. Um, do anything else in this chapter. So just to make sure, we're just going to run over here and see how many points. All right, 270. Yes, that's exactly where we should be. So we got all of them. Okay, we can proceed to Xanarkand and finish this chapter. <coughs> oh, Riku got SOS wall, okay. Yeah, Twinkler's fine. I guess we can just, like, start at the top and work down. Like, that's cool. They've got the passive now, so that's going to be the most beneficial anyways. Okay, on to Xanarkand. This is where we sat, 
That night, the seven of us, I've never talked about it. I didn't want to share my memories. I wanted to keep that feeling, this place, within me forever. Memories don't work like that, Yuna. <clears throat> we can't control what's on the outside attraction. because of your memories. Whose idea was that? All right, so the first thing we need to do in Xanarkand is head up here and talk to Asaru. Yuna? You've changed so much, I hardly recognize you. Remember me? Oh, we skipped all the other remember me's. Um, so let me show you guys what happens if you tell people you don't remember them. Sorry, could no you remind me? It's been two years after all. Oh, you're so nice, Asaru. I'm Isaru, a summoner forever second to you. Oh. Wow, that's harsh. Why are you here? Forever? Ah, yes. I've been helping Sid with his work. Don't look at me. I guide people through Xanarkind, once the most sacred of places. People come from all over Spira. Spira hunters, too. Oh. Ah, oh, what the heck is Pop thinking? <clears throat> Excuse me. I can see this is upsetting you. But this is a place of great historical importance for all of Spira. I know, but still, I never wanted. It's just not else reasonable, you know. There. It's just not reasonable. You know? Nothing. Forget it. If you say so. Ah, I must be getting to work now. Please, take care, Yuna. All right, so now we need to traverse all the way to the end of the Xanarkin Ruins area. Taro, Hana, you ready? <clears throat> um, what was the clue again? Come on, it's the key. All right. Let's head out! Key! Yes, sir! Which way? That way! There's only one way. Yes! It's literally just a hallway. A broken hallway, but it's just a hallway. Finally noticed me. Do you remember me? Your passe. Oh my gosh, I wanted to say no. You Dang it. Me. Sorry. How could you forget passe though? This is Hana, and this is Taro. Hey guys. Nice to meet you, Lady Yuna. What are you doing here? There are fiends around. Fiends? Ha! Uh huh. That's right! We're Spear Hunters! The Kindergartians! The Kindergartians! The Kintsu Force! You here on some kind of treasure hunt? So key must be a clue to finding the treasure. Uh-huh, that's right! Shh! We paid 15 whole gil for that! Come on, let's go! Kindergartians, move out! See you, Lady Yuna. Fifteen gil for a clue? <coughs> 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 
Bring it, punk. This scene? There's so many little scenes running along this little this come little in, corridor. Come in. Do you read me? Oh, hey, I wanted to double back. check that clue. It's Mon, right? Nah, it's just that I heard some kids saying it was key. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was Mon. Over and out. Key Mon. The clues are key and mon. What? The gull wings? Key mon? Monkey! Monkey! <laughs> we won't let you off so easily this time. I can do this blindfolded. Go ahead. <laughs> she, she could be this blindfolded though. She should try. Another flawless victory. Yeah. What's up? Oh, dang it. I wanted to talk to you. Anything goes. I talk to you in a second. Just just hold up. Let me beat up your buddies first. Won't take, won't take but a minute. I got this. I got this real quick. There we go. This place really is fabulous. Sigh, such a majestic beauty. Hey, you aren't sphere hunters, are you? <laughs> no, just tourists. You lie as badly as you dress. Wow. They're so rude. They're so rude when you choose that option. <clears throat> How dare they? Nice work. I never dream of picking on little kids. But oh, how I've dreamed of picking on you. Wow. Leave it to me. They're just so team rocket. Why they use a potion when they haven't even taken any damage yet? Y'all scared? Y'all scared. They're scared. They're scared of me. I'm scary. Okay, we made it here to the chest area. Oh, I love this. Remember, these are the, the grandmas. They call these fiends, hmm, I've coughed up scarier things. Those are a, a sphere a sphere hunter group of grandmas. I love that. There's a sphere hunter group of grandpas too. Um, the clue is monkey, right? Yes. Just a coincidence? Pulling my lips, sorry. I've got like some chicken in my teeth. I was trying to like get it out. I did not do that very well. And it's still there, of course. I think I might have just got it. Thank God. Hey, Sid, well, what's up? Well, I'll be if it isn't you now. Come to buy a clue from Uncle Sid, have you? <coughs> what are you thinking? <coughs> Riku's on our side. Turning this place into a gift shop? Hello? What, you got a bone to pick? Okay, so instead of saying you bet I do, we're gonna say not really this time. Well then, I don't see the problem. <laughs> now, you mentioned clues. You're selling them? That's all he Darn says. Two. 
But I'm all out right now. You're out? Well, I only sell four of them a day. So that's the, the slightly different scene that you get. Oh yeah, we have to talk to this guy. Okay, then they move out the way. So yeah, that's what changes when you pick the, the like wrong option for, for Sid. All right, let's go talk to Isaru. Two years ago, we cast off our beliefs here. Our false hope. <laughs> Who's there? You have done well to make it this far, Sphere Hunters. But you will not have the treasure you seek so easily. Oh, really? So we fight. If you want the treasure, you must speak the password. Password? The clues? Oh, I know. The password is monkey. Uh, uh, yes, good. Uh, okay, so now tell me, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> okay, we're going to pick a different answer this time. We're going to pick a different answer this time. Um, the answer is uh, to marry a Hypello. Hypello. Wrong. <clears throat> Wrong. Wait Wrong. This voice sounds familiar. Is that Isaru? <sighs> um, what are you doing? <clears throat> My job. I bring excitement to those who've come to see this sacred place. I too once traveled with the hope of seeing this place someday. Working here somehow fulfills that wish. I see. Okay, thanks for coming. And remember, the ruins of Xanarkand will be waiting. Ex summoners come in all flavors. <laughs> they sure do, Payne. They sure do. <laughs> Apparently so. We done here. Mm. The sphere a silo finder picked up a signal. There should still be a sphere nearby. Oh. Right. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So choosing a different answer really didn't change much, just Riku called him out instead. So that's it. <clears throat> I wish Yuna actually voiced the line to marry a Hypello instead of just her, her vocals being just Hypello. I guess it was just too silly. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, you going down, Behemoth. <gasps> uh -huh, found, ya. found it. We're not alone. Think we need a password? How about kick its ass? I like that password. That's a good one. I'm pretty sure with this guy I can just whack him too. Like I'm so OP, it'll be fine. Yep. No problemo. What? It's only half a sphere. 
All that. For nothing. Well, it can't hurt to take it with us. True. I can't believe how much this place has changed. Poor Yuna. She has some reckoning to do with that thought. We can see the whole commute uh, the uh the whole conversation this time. Sphere? Looks like it's already drawn quite a crowd. Oh. The reports are from Killica Woods. I want that sphere. Here we go. It's as good as ours. Let's scramble. Who is the leader? I am. I give the orders around here. We're listening. Let's go! <laughs> okay, let's go. Definitely. It will be, won't it? Keep this up and someone will beat us to it. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, wait up. They're just excited, Pain. They're just excited. I would like to see Nuja's briefing. These are all sphere hunters? I don't think so. We finally meet him. We skipped Mushroom Rock, so we didn't even hear anything about him. Nude. Maven of the Youth League, right? Greetings, friends. An important sphere is hidden in Kilika Temple. A sphere documenting the true history of Spira. We are here today to demand that New Yevon make the contents of that sphere public. Yet, as always, the voice seeking truth goes ignored. My friends, I ask you, why? Because New Yevon wants to hide the truth, just as the temples did before them. I tell you now, this has gone on long enough. My friends, stand with me, and together we will bring the truth back to the people. Tell him, Nudes. I am moved. I am moved by your speech. But let's not overdo it. Our opponents aren't as young as they used to be. <laughs> not exactly what I had expected. Hey! That's our sphere! Oh, Poopy. So what now? Call it quits? No way. I don't know about you, but I could use an awesome sphere. Hmm. Okay. They can't decide who it belongs to. I say we make it our own. Right? Right! <laughs> okay. Here we go. 
Mission time. <clears throat> okay, we're just gonna go through the forest this time. We don't really care about the password because we already have that garment grid that you get for doing the password correctly. So it doesn't matter this time. True. Spheres? Secrets? What's this about? You know. Don't play dumb. We know you're guarding something. Yeah, what you guarding? Hey, we're here to guard our families from rebel like you. What are you talking about? What'd you say? I think it's time you left. That don't make no sense. Your families don't live in the temple. Just saying. Can I not hop up there? I thought I could. After I saw that. I'm gonna whack you good. I guess we gotta go around. They got a trigger where they can hop up there. Right? That is this chapter? Gosh, now I'm like really questioning if I'm remembering this part correctly. Because <laughs> there's multiple, you know, running through Kiliko Woods parts. Yeah, they're gonna stop me. You know, it's funny that the parts that there was no point in going to do is like meeting the two leaders, the Youth League leader and the new Yevon leader. So that's funny to me. Hey, it's a Chibokobo! We can't ch catch Chibokobos yet. I'm not even really concerned with doing that this go around. Oh, I didn't mean to find a squatter monkey. I was not trying to find them this time. Oh man, I hate these bitches. Can I kill it? Can I kill it fast this time? Does it die quick? Yeah, okay. I'm stronger now. I'm stronger than the- I was about to say than, than the last playthrough, but it, the syllables didn't work, so I stopped myself. But I am so much stronger. I can just kill those guys. Oh, here's another one! Let's prove it again. Boom! Yeah, these guys don't give me trouble no more. They did on the first playthrough, my god. Okay, wait. Not that way. We don't need the password this time. Stronger than you thought, huh? Mm-hmm. This way. Ah! Do I have to go listen? Or do I go this way? I must have to go this way. Oh, no, they stopped me. No one's allowed through here, okay. So it's gonna make me just a little peek.
Sir, I'm hopeless, sir. Yeah, carved for odd, craven for even. No, that's enough. Okay, can I go through now? Okay, yeah. So, okay, so you do have to watch that first, at least the first half of that little scene. Before they'll let you through. That's kind of dumb that the game won't just let you barrel forward and it makes you, like, know that there's a password before you get there and get surprised. It should let you mess that up. Reward exploration. So if you get the password wrong, this is what happens. You fight him. And it's no big deal, but then you just don't get the garment grid at the end. Excuse you, don't fire me. That's what you get. That's what you get for firing me. Yeah, and you don't get those items. Leave it to me. Don't worry, I leave it to you. You can do it, Riku. Okay, here we go! <gasps> Boss time! Which is why I keep telling you... Shut up. True. Just give us the sphere and we'll be on our way. Just listen to Donna. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey! I found the sphere! <gasps> Tattletale! <laughs> What's that? a little something prepared for just such an occasion. Wow. Nice knowing you. Just for us, you guys. Just for us. Thanks. You're the best. Let's take this one apart. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get him. Get him, get him, get him. So okay. Just what do you think you're doing? <laughs> We're having fun. We're spear hunters. So? Goings, let's go! Sorry, Donna. The spear is ours. Our spear, not yours. Tough luck. Bye. Chapter one complete. We can move to chapter two.
We don't need those. Yes, let's save. Nah. Overdid it? There is no such thing! The gold wings shall be notorious throughout Sphira! They weren't all that happy. Huh? Don't forget that notoriety can be a bad thing. So what? I want to have fun! Just make sure you don't do anything to land us in hot water, okay? Aww. Where's the fun in being plain old regular Sphere Hunters? True, Riku, true. <laughs> Whenever Riku and brother agree, bad stuff happens. Uh, that can't be good. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we have to do to progress. The first one being talking to Shinra. Hmm, it's just a regular movie sphere. It doesn't appear to have any special functions. You want to take a look? So we've watched the um we've watched the sphere before, but we're gonna watch it again just for full context. So we can remember. And now you hear like that piano music, that organ music playing in the background. Any ideas? Not a one. But as Machina go, it looks extremely dangerous. Definitely a weapon. Yuni! It's him! Is it you? Or does he just look like you? He just looks like him. And who's this Len? Not you, Yuna, that's who. Because he's not Titus. Wings! Front and center! So, uh, let's give back that sphere. What do you say? <gasps> but we worked so hard to get it! That thing is over, bad news! What if we donated the sphere to the study of Spira's history? That's what being a sphere hunter was originally about, right? True. It's a little late to be bringing that up. Yeah, we already swiped it. Well, I still don't want it. We're giving it back now. Hmm. You don't mind? I've seen it. <sighs> it's still pretty shameless to saunter up and give back the sphere we just stole. We bash ya! Our reputation is all but worthless if we do that. Our leaders too, no less. <laughs> Poor brother. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't make such snap decisions. Well, now this isn't any fun at all. I really gotta let off some steam. What do you got in mind? Why don't we ask Yuna to dance? 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 Oh, 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 oh that's it! You, you must dance. Our sanity depends on you. What is this move? That sounds like an order. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Brother, tell me. The exercise will do us good. Name the move. <laughs> Look at him. Hang tight while I go get ready. It's like, it's the flail. He's like doing the flail. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So now she's got to go to the cabin. What's that sound? 
Ah, uh, just some chikers I picked up. They're a colorful bunch. Okay, brother. Whatever you say. Apparently they cannot walk on their own. They need to be pushed. So we got to push them into the elevator. Yes, you have to do this again. So we're going to do it. Get in there. There we go. Riku just dancing in her thief outfit. Pain chilling to the side. Not participating. Get those lalas. Yeah, who's Len? Why... Why am I so mad? Who the heck is Len? <laughs> Ghost dress. <gasps> There's Riku's songstress. And Pain is just nowhere. Oh wait, is that her like up in that I'm corner? Oh, my camera's blocking it. I think she might be in the corner. <laughs> Sleepy time. <gasps> oh, this part where her memories mix with Len's memories. So now can we know the truth now so we can see how this is like a mixture of Len's actual memories and like Yuna missing Titus. Because this is not what happens. It's a dream sequence. From the, the dress sphere. That's so sad. God, that's a terrifying nightmare. It must have been a dream. 
A dream's a dream. Blame it on your new jammies. <laughs> okay. So we have now completed up to the point where we can potentially get additional percentage points to get us to 100% and beyond. Okay, so we are going to go back to the bridge. And we are going to finally make a different choice that actually matters. Not just the choice that's going to cut content, but a choice that actually that? changes content. Returning the sphere is all well and good, but who do we return it to? At the Youth League in New Yevon, it's a lose-lose situation. What do you think, Yuna? I'll follow your orders, leader. Boy, uh, uh, Cheats. Aha! As leader, I cheats. order Yuna to decide. Brother, you cheats. Hey, that's cheating. Okay. So, um... Can't we just flip a coin? It's not like one group's better than the other. The group that gets the spear will love us, but the one that doesn't, yeah, okay. Anyway, we're gonna be good girls this time, and we are gonna actually choose the Youth League. It's got Yevon in its name, enough said. But the Youth League is reckless. They're the ones picking the fights. They have reason to pick the fights, they're the oppressed group. Well? This game does not understand this dynamic. All right, here we go. Mushroom Rock Road. We are going to the Youth League headquarters. Let's go. Works for me. Let's go with it. Colvins, move out. Summoner, remember? Who throws a welcome party for the people who ripped them off? Good question. Oh, he says show some class. I didn't realize that was the line. to give you the sphere that you were looking for. Now that you have this, you can stop the fighting in Kilika. How generous. And how sudden. Maybe you should start by introducing yourself, High Summon. We're the Gullwings! I see. Sphere hunters. That's right. In that case, I gratefully accept the sphere you have brought. On behalf of the Youth League, I thank you. Yay! Everyone, three cheers for the Gull Wings. Thanks, Nuge. So, did you watch it? The sphere. Well, um, you see, I, uh, Riku. Riku. Um, uh, <laughs> it's okay, girl. We did. Oh, boy. Forget. I'm afraid I cannot. Yuna, don't let him push you around. <laughs> Some advice. That thing. The Colossus you saw is known as Vegnagun. Mm. It possesses overwhelming destructive power. It must not be touched. Yet those Yevon fools think they can control it. The Youth League will do whatever it takes to make sure they do not get a chance to try. Trust me, you don't want to get involved. Tell me, who was the man I saw in the sphere? 
I cannot say. I see. Hey, we got a distress signal from the Celsius. Gold wings, we're leaving. <laughs> Time to get burgled. It's official. We've been burgled. <gasps> dun dun dun. The here from the Xanarkin ruins is missing. Looks like the burglar left us a present. Who's on top now, Dull Wings? It'll be a thousand years before you can take on the mighty LeBlanc. That's not true. We're gonna get you. We're gonna, we're gonna become bestest best friends, and then you're gonna regret picking on us and trying to over, go over top us. Should have worked with us from the beginning. Okay. She got us. She did got us, but don't worry. Oh, poop. Yuna, don't talk like that. I'm just copying you. That's nice. And we're gonna take it back. No one messes with us. That's right. And what about Vegna Gun? I didn't want to get too involved. Not like when I was a summoner. <sighs> We're forgetting who we are. We're spear hunters, the gull wings. <laughs> That's right! We still back! What a stool! It is the law of the spear hunter! That's right, that was our sphere. Now we go to Chateau LaBlanc! We attack the name of honor! Honor! No Shinra. We're Make so strong! <gasps> That's it! You know you are brilliant! So we have to fly around till we find LeBlanc's gang. Beat them up and steal their uniforms. Three of them. Let's do it. Let's do a Star Wars. Okay, we're going to do a Star Wars, you guys. That's chapter two, doing a Star Wars. <clears throat> okay. So what we're going to do then is we need to go save. And we need to check. Um, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. There, we're now we're in the right spot. We need to save. That should have gotten us one percentage point. So we should actually be at 100.2 percentage points now. It says 100. It says 100. Okay. So, yes. So if you do New Yevon for your first run, you're not going to get 100% until you come back. And then you choose, um, you choose Youth League. And then you can get it right there. That's the quickest you can do it with a New Game Plus. Okay. So since we did that, it's now time to kind of like go around uh, to the different areas again. So we've still got like publicity we need to do and various other things. Just like chapter one, if there's no publicity to do there and there's no mission worth doing for like certain specific items that we didn't get the first time, we're not going to do it. So first we're going to go to Besaid to do some publicity. Okay, and I think... We talk to these guys. We had a slightly different scene because we chose Youth League. So you gave the sphere to the Youth League, yeah? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we knew you were on our side. Mm hmm What do you mean? The Besaid Orox have all joined the Youth League. Well, officially at least. And uh, Waka hasn't joined up yet. Can't blame him, yeah? His kid's popping out any minute, you know. Now's not the time for him to be fussing around with politics. Fussing, you say? Oh, this bitch. Who's he? I am Becklam. I've been dispatched to Besaid by Youth League headquarters. I'm here to pound some fight into these pathetic slackers. Okay. He's a hundred times stricter than Waka. You must be awfully confident in your strength if you're skipping training just to flap your lips like that. So, I guess you won't mind showing me what you're all really made of then. Oh, no way. He's kidding. What do we do now? 
There's no one among you man enough to break my record? <laughs> You're pathetic. Okay, he's creeping me out. Seriously. See you later, Yuna. Stop that at once! The age of temples and prayers is over. He's so rude. Time you let go of those musty old traditions. There's no need to bow down to summoners either. Yes, summoners are a thing of the past. It's okay for people to practice rituals. There's nothing wrong with that. Right there. By itself. Who's calm do you think this is, Buster? It's very helpful for there a lot are of people. No more aeons to summon. <laughs> summoners are worthless now. You will take those words back. I will. If you succeed in proving your worth to me, well, what do you say? No, we're not doing this stupid gunner's gauntlet. You're all talk. Not doing it. I am all talk. It's whatever. Okay, let's see if that different conversation got us any more, get, gets you any more percentage points. I just want to check. Okay, it does actually. You do get 0.2 percentage points from seeing that slightly different conversation. So we're at 100.4 now. Okay, so really the main reason we are here though. Oh. <clears throat> so if you want all the possible percentage points, not just like like over 100, you do need to see both Besaid scenes. The Youth League one and the new Yevon one. But we're here to do publicity. So let's go in and do that. Okay, so for this lady, again, it's the second one. For the guy in the tent here, it's the first one. Got the shopkeeper in here. And hers is the fifth one. Get the lady walking her dog. Hers is the fourth one. One, two, three, okay, yeah. The kid. All right, this is the third one. Get your air on, yeah. And then keep it as well. Um, I think he's still in the tent. He might have just been out with all the others and I totally missed him. But let's go see if he's in the tent. Okay, he's not. Let's go check out with the rest. There he is. Okay, you do the first one for him. Okay, and we are not doing the stupid gunner's gauntlet. That's it. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing in Besaid. <laughs> we don't need to do all that. <clears throat> okay, next is Kilika. Um, I do think there's some percentage points in Kilika as well. I know there's a different scene, even if it doesn't give you points. So let's go watch it. The Gullwing. Was it not? Sphere hunters that give back spheres. Don't you think that's a little odd? Of course, we're glad you're on the Youth League side, but still. Yeah, why are you complaining? Okay, and that's it. Just like before, like you really can't go into Kilika. So it doesn't matter who you pick, like you don't have access. So that's all we're gonna do. Um, so let's save and see if that gets you any points. That, or, or if it like shares points with the other scene. Okay, no, it shares points with the other scene. So yeah, it doesn't get you additional percentage points. Yes, yeah, so you cannot do publicity in Kilika um, right now. Okay, let's go to Luca. Yeah. 
and we're gonna do PR here as well. So this lady for publicity, you do the third one. And this lady over here, we do the fifth one. Oh, we have to do this scene. That's true. We don't need it, but it's gonna make us do it. Hello and good afternoon. We'll watch it from the other camera. This is Shalinda bringing you all the latest news from throughout Spira. These days, everyone's talking about the groups battling throughout Spira for control of the spheres. Let's start with the Youth League. From its leader, Maven Nuge, on down, their ranks are made up mostly of former Crusaders. Fresh off its attack on Kilika Temple, the Youth League is sending shockwaves throughout Spira. Pairing off against them is none other than New Yevon. All eyes were on them after the New Yevon chairman's sudden resignation. Chaos seemed inevitable. But their newly appointed leader, Praetor Berylai, has held them together with utmost finesse. Another group turning a lot of heads is the Machine Faction, an Albed organization. They've managed to distance themselves from the sphere struggle embroiling Spira. But their unmatched technological prowess could well be enough to dramatically shift the balance of power. If you and say so. Don't forget the LeBlanc Syndicate, the gang with a style all its own. Head we love them. Chateau LeBlanc in Guadalajara, its agents span the globe. But lately, there's one group in particular that's been drawing all kinds of attention. That's right, the only group led by a high summoner, the Gold Wings. And now, here's today's special guest, High Summoner Yuna. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Yuna. Lady Yuna, your concert the other day was nothing short of spectacular. Well, it was sort of me up there, but not exactly. Puzzling words, to be sure. And speaking of puzzling, why the sudden career change to spear hunting? It sounds like you caused quite a stir with that disappearing act you pulled on Besaid. <laughs> and I'm very sorry about that. Rumor has it you left the island looking for clues about a certain young man. Anything you can share with us? Um, okay, so this time we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna say that's right. So, tell us about him. It's a long story. I'm sure it is. One can only imagine the fascinating tales that led to you becoming the leader of the Gold Wings. Hold it right there. I am the leader. Me! Gold Wings, we rock you! Whoa. This thing on? It's taping two morons right now. <laughs> this is just a toy compared to the things I've invented. Tell us, is it true that the Gull Wings have thrown their support behind the Youth League? That statement is kind of true, but not really. No. So Brother's line doesn't change, but uh, Shalinda's does. We don't want to get caught up in other people's problems. So many questions left to ask, but I'm afraid we're out of time. Our thanks to today's guests, High Summoner Yuna and the Gold Wings. You're welcome, Shalinda. Poof. Not bad. You should have joined in too. Yeah, it was more fun watching. Lady Yuna, great interview. Thank you so much for helping me out. This isn't much, but consider it a token of my gratitude. Yep, so you get the garment grid again. So, how long you been doing this? Well, after the calm came, the temples were in decline. At first, I thought the best thing I could do would be to help the temples get back on their feet. But everyone just ordered me around. Aw, Shalinda. I'm tired of it. You couldn't just tell them no? That's the part of me I wanted to change. I made up my mind to leave the temple and come here to Luca. They needed people for this, and they asked me to help. So, here I am. Another job you were asked to do? I suppose nothing about me has really changed after all. Nope. Oh, I gotta run. Mm, my next assignment is about to start. See you later, Lady Yuna. She complains, but you can tell she enjoys it. Hmm, sounds a bit like uni, don't you think? Kind of. Really? 
Mr. B, care to give us your opinion? The hardest person to know is yourself. Yeah, this is one of the scenes I'm not a fan hey, of. I don't think this is the out. right characterization of Yuna. <laughs> no, not right now. Thank you, though. Okay, so we've got a couple more publicities to do here. So we're going to go to the boy down there. And for him, we're going to do the fourth one. Again, I don't know why he cares about weight loss. <laughs> um, this one, the guy in the brown right here, we're going to do the fifth one. And then we got to go to the blitz ball area and do a couple there. All right, green guy. For him, we're gonna do the third one. Wow! Oh my gosh, Spartacris, it's been forever since I've seen you. How have you been? How have you been, friend? Um, so for this lady up here, for her publicity, we do the second one. And then we're gonna go all the way around the circle. Okay, so this lady right here is about to pop up. There we go. Come on. Okay, for publicity for her, um, it is to the fourth one. And then we're going to do this guy up here. And for publicity for him, um, it's the first one. Hello! I hope you're having a lovely Sunday, friend. All right, and that's all we need to do in Luca. So we can go back on the airship. <gasps> it's going okay, new job occupying all my time low. Oh my gosh, well congrats on the new job. I know how that is um, with a new job taking up all of your time. And thank you so much for the sub, thank you so much. Um, don't let me forget, when we, at the end of the stream, before we, we end, we actually fully end the stream, I'll pull a pin for you. I really appreciate the sub, thank you so much. And two months in a, two months streak, heck yeah. Okay, so then, let's see, where do we wanna go next? Where do we wanna go next? Okay, so we are gonna go, yeah, let's just go to Meehan High Road next. Let's just go down the road. We don't need to do the mission. Um, I'm gonna try to skip it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to skip it. Uh, okay, oh, let's do it this way. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Instead of flying there, let's enter from Mushroom Rock Road and go down that way. Yeah, and then we'll go down. I, I wonder if it's gonna, it's probably gonna still make me do the mission. But that's okay, we can do the Chocobo mission if it makes me. Okay, so for this little boy right here for publicity for him, we do the fifth one. And then we're gonna go down the old road. So for this guy, let's talk to him, do publicity, it's the second one. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a random battle yet. I got all the way through that screen without one. Cuckoo crazy. Okay, let's go to this lady right here. So for her publicity, we do the fourth one. And then we gotta go all the way to the end with those two guys that are just, just chilling. Just chilling on the ground after walking past tons of fiends, which is a normal thing to do.
Chris, we're doing a new game plus right now, and this is, um, and we're using the Festival of Stress Sphere. Aren't they, like, so cool? They're, like, so cute. Like, I want to go to the festival. Like, it looks like so much fun. Their outfits look like so much fun for the Stress Sphere. Yuna got SOS wall. Okay, sweet. So she'll move on to actually getting some abilities. You know, I should let Class go and Callie. I should do it. And I should let Class go and Callie onto the airship again. Because then I can get a chance for another AP egg. Because I know I'm not going to be playing no blitz ball for the AP egg. Okay, so this guy on um, on top right here. <clears throat> yeah, you do publicity for him and it's the first one. And this guy on bottom right here, it's the third one. So one one for the top, three for the bottom. soul and like that's supposed to be a threat whatever whatever as if it would be this is your lucky day I wonder how close I am to that one garment grid that you get for killing everything oversold. But of course, I, I've, I haven't like got a bosses, so I'm probably actually really far away. Because really, the bosses is what would take forever. Because you got to go down and, and get those in the um, the infinito. Okay, so what we're gonna do is board the airship again and we're gonna enter from Mushroom Rock Road again, but then we're gonna go down the new road instead of the old road backwards. And this will help us not miss out on the publicity points. Because otherwise you get blocked from it. You can't do it. Victory. That's right. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Strike. 
stronger than you thought, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna come around here and um the lady in yellow on the bridge again is what we need to get. Okay, so for this lady, um, we do the fourth one. Okay. Um, and then I think the best thing to do is going to be to go back to the Luca entrance and then go up from there. And then I know I'm not going to miss anybody. Because of the mission. I didn't get this far in like my kind of just messing around to try to decide what order to do things in save file that you also at the beginning of the stream like we've actually gotten a lot farther on stream so I'm just not 100% sure oh everybody learned something nice so I'm just like a little bit unsure about making sure that I get all the publicity for this area so that's so why we're gonna go back and then do Luca entrance Did they both just try to oversoul and I killed the fly eye too fast? I'm not, the animation kind of looked like that. I'm not sure if that's what happened though. Hey, what y'all doing? What's up, you guys? Hey, excuse me. I'd like to talk. Hello. Hi. Where you going? Okay, bye. That was rude of them. All right, let's go from the Luca entrance. All right, so we're gonna go into Mihen from Luca. And we're gonna walk down this way. So these two ladies once they, oh. Just kidding, random battle first. Random battle. Okay, so for her, it's the first one. And for her, um, it's the second one.
Get him. I mean, even though we're skipping stuff, we're still leveling up pretty good. Like, we're already level 16. That's pretty good, I feel like. Like, we are not underleveled at all. Even though, like, we totally can be <laughs> with the accessories and things that we have. All right, so we do publicity for this guy. Um, and let's see, what's his one? Oh, okay, he's third. There we go. Well, well. I don't know how all these other people on this road deal with the fact that there's fiends constantly. It's so crazy. They must all have, um, cat, cat spells? Is it cat spell? Or is that the HP stroll one? I can't remember what accessory it is that makes it so that you don't get any, um, enemies. One hit. So One hit. So we're that awesome. All right, so this lady, we do publicity with her. Um, and hers is the fourth one. And then we've got another one at the end of the road. Oh, they're learning stuff fast now. Now that they got past that one that was like a hundred. Let's go look. Okay. Her masks are status effects. That's cool. But then Yuna's and Riku's are elementals. I'll have to show y'all what the abilities look like. So if we do, um, let's see, damage and confusion, twinkler, 
Oh, okay. So this is what Twinkler looks like. It's like a self- it's a self-heal only. Let's see. Popper damages an enemy. So show you what that looks like. Or what does Blind Mask look like? I don't even know for that one. Can I blind them? Let's look- what's Fire Sandals look like? Oh, it's a- it's an elemental, but it attacks all. Okay. Boom! <laughs> I love that one. This is gonna hurt. Oh, she just literally throws her shoes. She just throws her shoes. Oh, Fyraga too. Oh, nice. OP. That is OP. We can just attack though, we don't need to do all this. What was Spinner? Oh yeah, let's see what Spinner looks like. Oh, <laughs> she throws some Spinner fireworks. Boom, 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 boom. And Blind Mask's animation didn't really look like much, but it did blind them. All right, so the publicity for this guy is the third one. <clears throat> oh my god, I lied. I just chose the third one. He was supposed to be the second one. Pretend I chose the second one. It'll be fine. We'll still have plenty of points. But anyways, he was supposed to be the second one. I just totally read the wrong spot in my notes. Whatever. So he was supposed to be two. Okay. Um, so now at the travel agency, we need to go get this guy sitting on the hill first. So his publicity is the first one. There we go. Totally pumped. That's the message I want to see. All right. So then we're going to go inside the travel agency. And I'm sorry, but you won't be able to go chocobo riding. I see. Sorry to bother you. Mage, hello! Welcome in! Welcome in! Thank you so much for stopping by! Yes, um, Tentu is amazing. I absolutely love it. I've seen you in so many other chats, Mage. Um, you're amazing. I, I'm pretty sure you stream as well. Um, let's do a shout out for Mage. There we go. There we go. Everybody who's um who's chilling, who's lurking, go follow Mage Amazed. Um, you're part of Highlight, right? Okay, so for this lady for publicity, we do the second one. And for this guy, um, for publicity, we do the third one. Okay, so that is all the publicity we need to do here. So let's go, let's go do the mission. Like, why not? I do want to do chocobos and stuff, so I think this helps. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember. I think it does help also with the the thing that you do at the end of Mihen, you know, where you you uh, have the culprit <laughs> of the the messed up Machina. So let's do it. But we'll do it differently this time. We won't try to like you aren't lady. You get the falling thing. Chance. I am. I don't suppose you remember me, do you? Okay, let's pretend we don't remember her, because legit, when I first played this game, I did not remember her. Yeah, Team Highlight. Okay, sweet. Yes. I'm doing so good, Mage. I'm having a lovely Sunday. Um, this is a new game plus, by the way, so we're doing our second our second playthrough, basically, of it. So we're going to say, um, no idea. It's me, Callie. She's not fussed. Ooh. She's cool with it. Because she was literally a child before, different model, everything. How could you remember her? You can't really. Remember Callie? We met her two years ago on the Meehan High Road. She has grown a lot in two years the somehow. Girl was so looking forward to the calm. What are you doing here? I came to ride a chocobo. I've wanted to ride one for as long as I can remember. 
Hmm. You don't see too many chocobos these days. Everybody rides hovers. True. Yeah. On top of that, I hear there's a chocobo hunting fiend prowling around. This isn't a very good place for poor little chocobos anymore. Maybe they're gone for good. <gasps> chocobo! Callie, I have no idea who that is. Yeah, it's a bit character. It's when you see her, you see her on Meehan High Road in the first game, and it's just like one line Cho! that she says to Cho? you, and she's with her mom. <laughs> it's a chocobo! Like, I can't even believe they brought her back for 10 2. Want to help Callie catch a chocobo? Yeah, let's help her. Let's help her. Why not? Okay. So we remember this. Remember, the ideal way to do this um, particular minigame is to not do too well or too poorly. Um, we're going to actually try to do well this time because we don't need to do that, that middle ground, um, because we already got the accessory we need from Blaming Riku, so we're not going to do that this time. Oh, there it is! Stay close to me! I'll get that chocobo! I recognize that voice. It must be Cree Summer. Oh my god, true! Yes! I mean, 10-2, just like 10, is absolutely fucking star-studded. Abs- like, so many famous voice actors. It's over there! So many famous voice actors. Literally everybody is in this. Um, so yes, you're totally correct. It is her. Is Jason Marston in this? Probably. Um, I'd have to go double check. It's hard to remember off the top of my head the names of the voice actors, because like in my head, they're like whoever else they played. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in my head, um, Riku here, I can't remember the voice actor's name, but, um, but that's Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> you know? He did a fantastic job as Chase Young in Shaolin Showdown. Um, he probably is. Let's see. Jason Marston. Let me Google what else he is. Because if I can see all of his other roles, I can... Yeah, Tara Strong. Exactly. Exactly. Jason Marston, Final Fantasy X, 2. Yes, he's, well, he's, oh, he's not in 10. He's in 13. He's in 13 too. In um, 13 final, yeah, in, and in Lightning Returns. He's not in 10. There it is. What did I tell you? I'll watch the far end. No chocobos will get out that way. <clears throat> I've got this end. And that leaves me to catch it. So he did a voice in an FF game after all. Yeah, so he apparently is in 13. But yeah, this is basically everybody who was anybody in like the early 2000s is in this game. What's up, Chabokabo? Chocobo Rodeo. Okay, let's actually try to do a good job this time instead of the middle of the road. See if we can get it. I don't want to totally fail, because if you fail this, you do have to start it over. Oh, messed it up. Yeah, because after this game, they kind of started having a lot of voice acting, you know? I imagine one of Jason's lines in 13-2 was lightning, do a perfect ca do the perfect cast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Would have to, would have to. Oh my god, I love the goofy movie. I need to rewatch that movie. It's such a good one. At the time it came out, it did not get the attention it deserved. Okay, we've only missed one so far, and he's on easy mode now, so I think we got this.
We down with this Muzak. I'm gonna get you, to Chocobo. You're gonna be so tired that you're just gonna totally submit to me. You're gonna 100% submit to me um, just because you're tired. You're not gonna attack or be violent or anything like that like a real animal would. Finally, yes. My first time watching a Goofy movie was early 2020. Really? Oh. Oh yeah, I think it's Beloved now. Uh-oh. Okay, so if you do really well, then you skip the whole other part of the minigame where Riku falls. So this is what happens, you just skip straight to here. I know I was late, but it was still worth a watch. Yeah, it's, it definitely, it holds up in my opinion as still like a really, really good animated movie. All right, we got to rescue Callie. I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave her unrescued. Not to mention that year was the 25th anniversary. The stars pretty much aligned. True. You can't. But there isn't time. Then we'll just have to hurry, won't we? Yep. Right. Let's go. Oh wait, Clasco didn't come and say he'd hold him off. Is it because I didn't go to Mushroom Rock Road in Chapter 1? I think so I get less time here, I think. Or we just don't get that little bit of a scene. That's funny. Because there's supposed to be a part where Clasco comes in and he's like, Oh, I'll hold him off. It's fine. Make it. But then, but that just totally didn't happen. Hey, baby. How's it going? Are you having a good Sunday, my friend? We're back. We're back on the 10-2 train on our new game plus we're already on chapter two trying to save Callie I'm gonna run out of time though holy cannoli that timer is going really fast I do think I literally get less time when I didn't since I didn't go to mushroom rock road in the beginning <gasps> Callie I'm coming we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make it okay we made it Whew. We made it. Okay, yeah, it must be because like we didn't go to Mushroom Rock Road in chapter one, so like we didn't meet Clasco yet. <laughs> Let's clean up. Don't worry, we got this shit. We gonna we gonna we gonna get him. Goodbye, anything eater. Is he anything eater yet? He's just- no, he's still Chocobo Eater. Goodbye, Chocobo Eater. On your back. Pop, 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 pop. Die in fireworks. Yay! She looks happy. Whatever works for her. Shall we? Yeah, because we didn't we didn't do the whole thing with Clasco, so yeah, we met, we we've changed that a little bit. Okay, so now I want to make something clear. So we've been getting like additional garment grids, but. If you look down here, you still only get one of each, 
right? Like when you unlock more garment grids, like I know we've gotten the, where's the covetous one? I know we got that one. Again, where are you? Well, I know we have two first steps, right? But there's not really, like you click here, there's not two of them. But see how we've got two gun mage dress spheres, two black mage, two white mage, three festivalists, right? Like you can get multiple of the dress spheres, but you can't really get multiple garment grids. So that's how that works. Okay, we are going to go ahead and save here. So at the end of this, our percentage should be 100.4. So we're over 100%. Um, and it's 100.4, so I'm just gonna check and make sure that's true. Yes, that is true. Okay, all right. For y'all watching the, the recorded version on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.